we do a mic check, please? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ducks Limit Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Jennings. I'm your host, Dr. Mike Brazier. My name is John Gordon. I'll be your host. And I'm your host, Katie Burke. Welcome to the Ducks Unlimited Podcast, the only podcast about all things waterfowl. From hunting insights to science-based discussions about ducks, geese, and issues affecting waterfowl and wetlands conservation in North America. The DU Podcast, sponsored by Purina Pro Plan, the official performance dog food of Ducks Unlimited. Purina Pro Plan, always advancing. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Ducks Unlimited podcast. Today, I am bringing you a quick bonus episode, which is pretty exciting. On the show, I have Sam Soholt, co-owner of Public Land Tees. He is out there right now doing the 100-mile duck ruck for Stamp It Ford. Hey, Sam, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me on. All right. So before you tell us a little more about what you're doing today, I have one question that I am personally interested in. How are your feet? Are they holding up? <laughs> my, I, I'm very lucky. My feet are holding up. Uh, I've got one decent blister on the end of my right pinky toe. All right. Uh, but but I'll, I'll get that taped up and everything. So it should be, should be good to go. And then we'll see what tomorrow brings. That's, that's yeah. right. Get another 10 in today. Yeah, that's that's great. That's not too bad. You could be yeah, a lot worse not too off. Bad. As a uh, trail runner and done a couple ultras myself, it could be a lot worse. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm just thankful I'm not running this 100 miles. Uh, the, the walking on uh, almost perfectly flat ground has lended itself to being at least tameable. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I want to know, give me a little more details of like exactly what your plan is. So it's a ruck, right? So are you carrying weight on your back? You know, I am I am carrying not a lot of weight, uh, just a, a little bit. I, when I was training for it, I was carrying 40, 50 pounds every day, trying to get my feet ready and in shape for the whole thing. Okay. Um, I'm trying to limit the amount of weight I'm carrying just because it is such a long distance. Yep. Um, although, although I am going to keep adding decoys to the outside of the pack as more donations continue to roll in and we keep raising money for it. Oh, that's interesting. I like that idea. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, hopefully you'll have like a full rig back there. By the That'd end. be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's the weather been like? How How's it been so far? Yeah, I could not have uh, gotten luckier on the weather. We've got uh, all three days of the hike are going to be low to mid 70s uh, for a high and then lows in the high 40s and low 50s at night. So getting to do a lot of the walking in pretty pretty decent weather. This morning, I think it was like 43 and uh, kind of foggy and and just like cool and wet. And so it was able to stay really cool for that first like uh, a little over 10 miles of it. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. 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 40, 50, that's yeah, the best. Yes. So what time did you start this morning? So uh, did the shotgun start at just before 7 a.m. I think it was like 645. And then, yep, started walking at 7. And I am I accidentally hit sa- uh, save on my activity instead of resume. And so I was at right at halfway when I did that. So I'm, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I'm at like, I've gone a t- little over 23 miles at this point, 23 and a half or so. You didn't go too far before you figured it out that you put save and not resume, right? No, I, I noticed immediately. Oh, I had stopped for a quick break and then uh, went to resume and I must have toggled down and hit save. So yeah. I was like, ah, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. It's nothing worse though than go hitting it and then going like three miles and you're like, oh no. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep, yep. So you started at like seven and what pace are you kind of keeping? What time do you think you'll finish your 33 for the day? What's how long of a day you have? Yeah, I've, I've been averaging about 3.4 miles an hour. Okay. I'm just trying to keep my heart rate below a certain level. So, uh, you know, it takes, so every three hours I'm going about 10 miles. So I figure we're, uh, we're actually in the nice little town of Milner, North Dakota right now and having a little bit of late lunch break and refueling. And then, uh, after this, I'll get back to walking. So I should have another, you know, if I'm walking by, you know, three 30 ish again, I should be done between six 30 and seven tonight, uh, with the first third of it. Okay. That's not bad. And you're eating when you stop. Are you eating as you go? Are you, what's your, what's your fueling process here? I've done a little bit of both. I had, uh, I'm trying to think of what time it was. Uh, I hiked the first like almost 11 miles and then scarfed down a big uh, sandwich and some Snickers and a bunch of like Gatorade and electrolytes and just trying to keep uh, enough sodium and stuff so I don't start cramping up. And uh, 
Um, and then I've been uh, been carrying some stuff along the way, just little bites, just to kind of keep. Yeah, I'm burning stuff so fast that I'm just trying to keep enough in there where I don't completely crash, um, especially going into day two and three. <laughs> so how did you lay out your route? Like, did you, I'm guessing you planned this all out beforehand. Is everything gone as you thought it was going to go in terms of your like route across? Not quite. Okay. Uh, it's, been, <laughs> it's been pretty good. I pre-planned the route on, on X Maps. Okay. Um, and, and I knew where I wanted to end. So um, there's a national wildlife refuge called Sand Lake uh, in uh, northern South Dakota. And I knew I wanted to end there. Um, and so I kind of like just did, built the route going backwards from there uh, out 100 miles. But it takes me past uh, tonight. We'll actually end up basically stopping at the Wild Rice National Wildlife Refuge by Cayuga, North Dakota. And then tomorrow, I'll end up walking by Tewakin uh, National Wildlife Refuge. And then on Friday, I'll end up at Sand Lake. So I kind of planned it so we could go past a bunch of the stuff that duck stamps pay for, a bunch of waterfowl production areas, uh, walk past the Cheyenne National Grasslands this morning. Um, so just kind of like highlighting and showing and, and uh, being able to talk about you know all of the open spaces that are protected and open to the public. Oh, that's great. So that's my next question. So I know you're a duck hunter, but you're also a bow hunter and a turkey hunter. So what made you choose the duck stamp? Like why the duck stamp particularly? Well, the coolest thing about the duck stamp and, you know, I've, we've been doing this Stamp It Forward project for this is the fifth season now that we've done this. Um, and this obviously the 100 mile hike is a bit of a twist on it. But the coolest thing about the duck stamp is how far it goes beyond migratory birds as far as improving habitat and protecting species. So if you deer hunt, you should invest in duck stamps. If you duck hunt, you should invest in duck stamps. If you quail hunt, grouse hunt, pheasant hunt, elk hunt, basically if you do anything outdoor recreation, duck stamp dollars pay for habitat that lends itself to creating more wildlife. Um, So it's a, it's a, you know, and the other cool thing about it is you don't have to be a member of anything. You don't have to have a hunting license. You don't have to you know, like you don't have to be part of anything to go buy a duck stamp. And then you know that 98% of that purchase price has to be spent on more habitat conservation. Yeah. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck with one yes. you know, $25. You're right. Yeah. Uh, makes sense. Yep. All right. So why a hundred miles? Why a hundred? Why a hundred? <laughs> so the, the, so last year we put a goal out there uh, for 2000 duck stamps. And so we raised 50 grand. We bought 2000 duck stamps. And we tend to swing for the fences. And so when I started thinking about this concept to try to earn people's donations, the 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 hundred miler kept sticking in my head because it's something that I've wanted to do for a while now. Yeah. I, I wanted to it. kind of challenge myself to do like a big hike like this. And and uh it it kind of all coincided. It kind of all like for me, like in this life, it's all come back to conservation. Like every I like start with one idea and then it like morphs into like, okay, how could we you know, have this benefit everything. And every, so it's a win-win for everyone. So the 100 miles is a way for us to attempt to raise $100,000, which would purchase 4,000 duck stamps. And obviously 98,000 of those dollars have to be spent on uh, wetland conservation. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm actually really jealous that I didn't think of it. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to do a 100 miler. It's just like one of those goals that I've had for a really long time. And Man, I, and if you're going to do 100 miles, right? You, I mean, it just feels like you should do it for something, right? It's such a big undertaking. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, it just seemed like, uh, you know, might as well, like, why not? Might as well, you know, swing, you know, try to hit a home run and, and uh, you know, raise a bunch of money for this. And, you know, I think it's the cool thing is at the end of the day, like by doing this and investing the money in it, it ends up, you know, for everybody listening to this, the duck hunts. Uh, you end up with more ducks in every single migration. I mean, the more habitat that we can protect, the more money we can invest in grasslands and uplands and wetlands, you know, the the better your experience in sloughs and on rivers and, you know, flooded timber and all that stuff is going to be better. Exactly. So you've been doing this since, when did you start? 2019? Is that when you started doing Stamp It Forward? Yep. 2019 was the first year. And okay. that, that first year we did just over a thousand stamps. So it was like 25,000 and... 250 bucks or something like that. Okay. So this will be, this is your fifth year. You're doing a hundred miles. I know it's hard to answer this now because you're in the thick of it, but would you do it again? You know, I think I would. Um, yeah, I'm going to say yes. Like okay. so, so, so far, so good. I'm in a, I'm in a good mental space at the moment, still having a really good time with it. So yeah. yeah I'll ask you again at mile like 85. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please do. <laughs> 
Um, but you know what? It, the thing about these things is, is at 85, you may be like, I'm never doing this again. But as soon as you finish one hour later after that first cold beer, you're like, yes, I'll do it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was such short memories we have. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so you started to this morning and you'll be finishing right as the comp, comp the duck stamp competition will be ramping up. Did you plan yes. it that way? Was that your intention? Uh, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, to be to be completely transparent, no, did not plan it that way. But I know uh, Rebecca Knight, who always has entries within the Duck Stamp. She's out of Missouri, and and I had posted about this, and she was like, "Oh, that's awesome! It's actually the Duck Stamp contest is will be you know fully going on Friday." And so um, I was like, "Wow, talk about perfect timing!" You know, for you know this whole thing to be able to touch on the art side of the whole thing and where the money goes and just kind of the whole contest and all of it. Uh, so it's pretty pretty cool to be doing this at the exact same time. Oh, yeah. As soon as everybody that's listening, y'all can follow along with Sam and then switch straight over to the live stream of the competition. So you'll just go all the way through. That's right. <laughs> My other question is, because if you're doing 100 miles, you can't do 100 miles alone. Every every ultra runner, hiker knows that you have to, for the most part, you need some sort of crew. So who is supporting you, uh, people and uh, brands out there too? Yeah. So uh, I have an awesome crew. Uh, my brother and I own Public Land Tees. So he flew out, uh, flew into Fargo yesterday. I picked him up. And then, uh, so we have both the Public Land bus and the Public Land van kind of out here as like the road vehicles. And um, and then I've got a couple of really good buddies um, that are really awesome uh, wildlife photographers and and kind of hunting lifestyle photographers that are hanging out uh, the whole three days. And then uh, a guy from the uh, Shields in Fargo, he's the social media guy. He's hanging out with us, creating a bunch of content, helping get it in front of eyeballs uh, at the Shields level. Um, so right today, we've got five guys on the road and the rest of the week, it'll be four of us uh, kind of shuttling all the rigs down as I hike. And then uh, on Friday, I'm actually super excited. Both of my parents are going to drive out and meet us on the road. And then both my mom and dad are going to walk three to five mile stints with me uh, to kind of help finish out uh, on Friday. So it's, uh, yeah, I've got an unbelie unbelievable crew that's helping me through it. And, um, you know, Josh is cooking food and uh, just making sure we're kind of all dialed in. And, and uh, the, the other guys have actually walked a pile of it today with me. So that's been great to kind of keep spirits up and keep moving. And then, um, you know, as far as companies that are helping out, uh, every year we have uh, good donations from companies to stamp it forward. So uh, this year's no exception. So we've got donations from uh, Timney Triggers, uh, who make the finest triggers in the world. They donated 2000 right off the bat. Um, Shields Outdoors is going to be making a donation. Uh, Heyday Decoys is making a donation. Uh, Vortex Optics. Uh, Savage Firearms, uh, and then there'll be, you know, there's been a bunch of uh, smaller companies in the industry that have donated 100, 250, 500 bucks to the cause to uh, kind of ramp that dollar amount up. All right. So that leads me into um, kind of my final question, which is where are you currently at? Where's your current dollar amount? We are here. Let me, I'm just going to look so I don't get it wrong. Okay. I looked at two, <laughs> uh, I looked they, a little bit ago. It's been changing so fast today. Um, so we are currently at 13,000, 13,560, and that's uh, through online donations. And then there's another, um, there's additional funding that hasn't come in yet from some of those companies. So there's, there's more than that, but just, just donations through the website so far, we're at 13,5. Okay. And if our audience wants to donate online, can you let them know how to do that and what yes. that would enter them for, like for the, the drawings and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if you would, if I, you know, obviously encourage you to go donate. 100% of the money we receive, we're donating and buying duck stamps. And then obviously, if we can raise that 100K, we're donating to Ducks Unlimited uh, as a way to increase the fundraising on it so we can, you know, like basically raise an additional, uh, you know, twenty to thirty thousand dollars on top of it. So, uh, but yeah, if you if you enter, if you donate, uh, you get entered automatically to win a bunch of cool prizes. So we have uh, decoys, gun cases, uh, clay pigeon throwers. We have a bunch of artwork from Ryan Kirby. We've got Onyx uh, Elite memberships. 
swag kits from Savage Firearms. We have pop-up blind companies donating uh, one leather tote each day, game strap. We have uh, game straps and lanyards from Fowler Hide Supply. We've got some other really cool prizes that I haven't unveiled yet, um, but going to do one of those tonight. And so, yeah, there's. Uh, I actually I can't even list them all right off the top of my head. I should have had that in front of me, but we've got a pile of different gear and other prizes to give away for uh, people that help raise the money. And that's all on Public Land Tees. Dot com is that where yeah yeah so if you want to donate just go to you can go directly to publiclandtees.com and there's a banner at the top you can click or you can go to publiclandtees.com forward slash duck ruck awesome and then we are posting a uh, sam's adventure on our instagram and social media but you can also follow him on his as well right yes and can you let us know what that is so you can follow along my personal one is at sam soholt and then our uh business page is at publiclandtees so i've been trying to bounce back and forth between both to make sure we're getting everybody covered and updated on the whole thing. All right. Well, Sam, is there anything that we haven't mentioned that you'd like to mention to our audience before I let you get back to it? You know, I don't I don't think so. Just one more shameless plug to, uh, you know, if you're a diehard duck hunter like me and, and uh, my brother, just if you want to help make a huge impact, all it takes is a little bit from everybody. So collectively, we can it's amazing how big of a difference you can make by everybody just chipping in a little. Thank you so much. Hey, good luck out there. Um, I hope that it keeps going great and keep your spirits up and um, and the weather stays good and no more root surprises. So I hope I hope it all <laughs> yes. goes well. And I am I'm yeah. very jealous. I wish I had thought of it. It's such a great <laughs> idea. Well, well, thank you so much for having me on and appreciate you putting it in front of everybody that follows along with Ducks Unlimited and you know obviously you know on behalf of DU thanks to everybody who's a member of Ducks Unlimited and helps protect all of the things that we love to do for future generations. Well, thank you. And when you're done and you've got your rest, we'll have to have you back on to kind of go over everything and talk about what it was like. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to do a recap when this is all, when the dust settles on this long, long gravel road. (laughs) Yes. And and when we have much more time, we can kind of do this kind of a slow version of this podcast. Well, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Good luck out there. Thank you. Thank you, Sam, for coming on the show. Thanks to our producer, Chris Isaac, and thanks to you, our listeners, for supporting wetlands and waterfowl conservation. Thank you for listening to the DU Podcast, sponsored by Purina Pro Plan, the official performance dog food of Ducks Unlimited. Purina Pro Plan, always advancing. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit ducks.org slash DU Podcast. Opinions expressed by guests do not necessarily reflect those of Ducks Unlimited. Until next time, stay tuned to the ducks. Stay tuned.